Hey guys, it's I Want a Turtle, and we are starting another box of Battle Bond. Uh, in case you, if you haven't seen the results from the previous box, I would definitely encourage you to go check out those videos. It was a very good box. Um, I feel like the cards that we pulled, like I can't even, um, could not have asked for more. Could not have asked for a better box. And but. Since we had such so much success, the uh, the only thing we can do is continue to press our luck, try again, and see if we can't uh, duplicate those results. Uh, similar to how we've been doing some of our other stuff, uh, we are going to break it up into several parts. And however, we are going to keep it kind of fast-paced, keep things uh, moving quickly. Uh, I feel like a I don't know, close to 20-minute video is a bit much. So, we're just going to jump right into it. Yeah, I, we don't know how to how to take our... Um, phrase, excuse me, but kind of like, you know, take our winnings and run. We're going to keep pressing our luck. Keep, keep going for more. Alright, so we do have a foil forest. The lands are pretty cool in this, in this set. Okay, Sentinel Tower. And then Impetuous Protege, Proud Mentor, and Slum Reaper. Yep. Yeah, had to had such a good first box that felt like I had to get another one and continue the craziness, continue the the weird cards, and hopefully continue the great pulls. Ooh, the emblem. I think we already have this emblem, but it's good to see another one. Our planes, greater good for the rare. Nimbus Champion, Jelen Sphinx, Battle Rattle Shaman. I don't think there's any commons that are worth hunting for. A few uncommons. Toll, enchantment. Uh, whenever an opponent taps a land, tap all lands that player controls. Taps a land for mana. Tap all the lands that control. Creature opponent controls attacks all creatures that opponent attacks if able. I mean, that first part. Whenever an opponent taps a land for mana, tap all lands that player controls. Interesting. So I guess that means that whatever phase they have to use all their mana, they can't kind of like leave up any. Interesting. I feel like a lot of this set just creates chaos. All right, we got a mirror token. We got an island. Ooh, yes, double season. Ugh, doubling season. As far as mythics go, I think. Uh, this is one of the best ones So if effect would create one or more tokens on your control it creates twice as many effect would put any counters double that as well So very nice So here oh man this <laughs> I'm loving this this battle bond getting such good good pulls This is just the beginning, too. Alright, we got Ugly Zombie, Swamp, and then a Mind Blade Render. Juggernaut, Savage, Vent Maul, Explorer. Doom Traveler, Elvis Visionary. Cool. Ooh, there we go. I can't do that consistently for the life of me. All right, warrior, planes. To my eye. All right, then a seedborn muse. Untap all permanents you control during each other player's untap step for five. Kind of cool effect. It reminds me of a artifact card from a while back. So we got so we got spark. You know, it's the unwinding clock. Let's be a fan of that. Oh, 
Alright, getting better at this. Okay, spirit. Forest. So we do have a lava field overlord foil. Very nice. And then for the rare, we got Archon of Valor's Reach. Uh, flying Vigilance Trample enters the battlefield. Choose artifact. Or players can't cast that thing. For six, is a five six. Doesn't sound that good. Okay. All right, about over halfway through. And we're back to screwing this up. Compared to regular packs, I think I open these slower. So, last one standing. Choose a creature at random, <laughs> destroy the rest. The chaos continues. Quest for the Grave Lord and the favor card. The zombie giant. Island or Spirit Dancer. Put an aura on it. Draw a card. Ooh, Sword Supply Shares. Nice. Always a good card. I think the, the first time I read that Sword Supply Shares, I was, couldn't really believe what I was reading. I thought, how could that be a card? How can that be allowed? Alright, Warrior Island. Then Grotesque Mutation. Ooh, Arcane Artisan. This is actually the second one as far as Mythics go. I would say it's like a, a mid to upper tier Mythic. Get this doubling season on top. Fumble, Crowd, crowd Goes Wild, Enduring Scale Lord. Another Shock. All right, we got two packs left and my phone just told me that the battery's gonna be dying soon. So, might pick up the pace a little bit. Zombie, planes, and then Ver Verdus's maneuver. And last pack for the first part of this second battle battle bond booster box. We got a warrior, swamp, mythic morphic pool. Yes, this is the the uh, two colored lands. This is the best one. Blue back, always a safe bet as far as dual lanes go. Gang up, Phantom Warrior. So, very strong start to the second booster box. For the big hits, we have, uh, Foil, Foil Forest is pretty cool. So for rares, we got the Mythic Morphic Pool. Mythics, we got an Arcane Artisan, and the best for sure would be a doubling season. So, very strong start to um, the booster box. And so if you do want to uh, support the channel, definitely like, drop a like for this video. I really appreciate that. It will help the channel grow. Uh, if you want, or hoping to catch the rest of this booster box opening, uh, definitely subscribe and you'll be notified for future videos. Other than that, thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you guys next time. Later.